welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you everything that I do to my hair to get it nice and voluminous, especially using my crimp iron. So you're going to want to start off with freshly washed hair. I actually just barely came back from getting my color done. Yay, my hair girl slays my hair every single time. She gets me to this really nice cool toned blonde without getting too cool toned because you know sometimes it's like a fine line between blonde and then pretty much straight up purple or gray so she does such a good job I love it but anyways we need to get some volume in this hair right so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, sections on each side of my part about an inch wide and I'm gonna go straight back like this and I'm going to keep going back, and I'm going to go back quite a ways, actually. You can see how... Oh, let's separate it first. You can see how far back I go, because the reason why... Oops, things fall out. <laughs> the reason why we do this is because you don't want to get the crimps too close to your part, because if you get them too close to your part, then you're going to be able to see the crimps, and that's no bueno, because... I remember like the first time I started using the crimp iron, I did get it too close to my part. And everybody at work was like, are you having crimps in your hair? Like what's going on? I'm like, don't look at it. Don't look. I'm just testing out. So, but now I feel like I've got it pretty mastered. So yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to start on this side first and I'm going to kind of finger weave a little bit and take a nice thin little section. And then I'm going to hold it straight up. And then I'm going to take my crimper and we're going to crimp it straight up. And the reason why I'm crimping it straight up is so that like when it lays down, so there we go, it's nice and crimped. So when it lays down, so like if you were to crimp it in the way that it lays down, the crimps are just going to perfectly lay on top of each other. But if you hold it up, it's going to kind of offset the crimps a little bit. Hopefully this is kind of making sense. But it's going to offset the crimps a little bit. And then it's going to create even more volume, which is what we want. So, on to the next section. We're going to do the same thing. Hold it straight up and crimp. And from here on down, I like to do two crimps on each piece of hair. And that way it gives it a nice um, uniform flow to the, to the volume that I'm putting into my hair. stop there and just do three sections but we're gonna make it pretty big today for you so I'm gonna do four okay and I like to kind of hold them up just to let it kind of cool in an up position that's just kind of generali generalized hair knowledge like that's basically what you're doing when you put hot rollers in your hair. So we're going to just let that sit down. And we're just going to let it cool. So, I mean, hello. Can you see the amount of volume that this, size ha this side has as opposed to this side already? Like, that's insane. And we haven't even, like, brushed it out or anything. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the next side in the back. And I'm going to probably zoom through this part for you. But, yeah.
Okay, now that all the crimps are done and in our hair, I'm gonna go in with my wet brush. Um, and then I'm just gonna brush through it. And as you can see, I'm kinda going in like a zigzag motion as I'm brushing through because I really wanna break up those crimps to get the most amount of volume as possible. Because it's kind of that same concept as I was talking about before. You kind of want to offset them and not have them be so tight together. That's what we're essentially doing is so that we're breaking it up and creating lots of space and volume right there at the roots. Okay, now we're just going to clip and put our hair down. Now when you put it down at first, you might have some like kinks in it, um, your hair from the clip. If you want to, you can go over it with a flat iron real quick just to smooth it out. Or if you give it a sec, it'll just kind of go right back into place. At least mine does. Okay, now that our crimps are all in, the next step that I like to take is I like to put dry shampoo in my hair after I style my hair. It's just gonna make it so that it fights the oil off faster. So it prevents it from even starting as opposed to trying to go in and fix it afterwards. So it helps my hair to last a little bit longer. And the dry shampoo I use is the Batiste Original. It works great and it has a good price point, so you just can't beat it. And this is gonna help to give the grit, or it's gonna help to give the crimps a little more grip as well. We're gonna let it sit for a second and then we're gonna brush it out. And then sometimes, just because I'm a volume freak, I'll put a couple of teases in right here. And the crimp is going to help the tease to hold place even more. Hopefully you can see this. I'll slouch, slouch down. <laughs> off with some hairspray. This is the Salon Graphics Freezing Hairspray Mega Hold. I also really like the Freeze It. Um, yeah, they both work great and hold everything in place really well. And once again, it's a drugstore. And then the last thing I like to do to finish off my hair is I like to take my Kevin Murphy Shimmer Shine Spray. Oh, the smell is so pretty. I first started using this back when I got married, so it takes me right back to my wedding. Like, I remember this smell and my perfume for my wedding day so perfectly. But we're just gonna shake it up and give a couple of spritzes. Oh, it smells so good. And it's powerful, so you don't need a ton of spritzes with it. Alright you guys, that's it for the video. I hope you guys learned some new tips and tricks on how you can tease your hair using a good old crimping iron. The thing I love about doing this the most is that my um, volume lasts for days. I know I'm not putting as much product as my at my roots as I was before by just teasing my hair with my tease um, comb and my hairspray. 
Um, yeah, like I said, there's less product buildup, so it lasts longer. All I have to do is put like more dry shampoo at my roots, brush it out, and it's like boom, it goes right back up to where it was when I first did it, which is amazing, so I can go longer without having to wash my hair. So, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave any comments or requests down below, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you. She gets a haircut tomorrow. She needs it. She's getting fluffy. <laughs>